This is a 2000 um, Fleetwood Angler Camper. Um, it's for a half ton pickup. It's got plenty of room. Um, got a bathroom with shower. Small but usable. Got your sink, stove, and an oven range with an exhaust vent, which is a plus for the Angler Fleetwood. Couple storage cabinets. Got your hot water tank, a six gallon hot water tank, and then you got all your. Uh, battery and gray and black water and your pump switch and I installed a TV I got a 15 inch LCD TV it mounts here I took it off because of winter time um, 12 volt TV so you don't don't have to be uh, hooked on grid to watch it's DVD and TV so you can watch movies and you do have to run it down to 12 volt plug out with your antenna hookup. Amplified antenna. And you got your coat closet, if you can see in there. And the top bunk actually folds down into a bunk bed. Got a latch there. And over there. And you got a nice feature here so you don't have to burn up your 12 volt battery if you're not hooked up LED lights and dim mode and here's your thermostat for your heater auto light so it'll turn on when it needs to it's great it heats this camper no problem and then up in the bed, I got an air mattress in here, keep it comfortable. Plenty of room up there. And got your storage for your table and linens and things if you need to. You got your two two way power refrigerator and ice box. That's just so I can always keep them open. No mildew smell or anything. And it's gas and 120 volt. Works great. And we also have solar power. Uh, solar panel on the roof charges the battery. I'm under a storage unit so there's no sun, but that red light will come on when it's working. And even on a cloudy day, um, it picks up a pretty good charge. And you got a folding table here for extra space when you're cooking. And you got your plug ins and storage down in the bottom, also. It's a great little unit, like I said, it's for a half ton pickup, which is hard to find. Um, a little lighter on the water tank and the gray water tank, but enough to camp for a couple days. New carpet. And no leaks at all. It's a pretty nice unit. And then you got your screen door, no rips, tears. And you got your bath light and entry light for outside. Let's go outside. Like I said, under storage. You got your propane tank. 
five gallon. Um, sewer hookups. And you have to your hose. You also have outside shower, which is handy. There's your heater vent. And there's the vent for the oven range, which is excellent. Hot water tank. And your power. I always keep it plugged in with a heater inside in the winter time. And water fill up. Fiberglass exterior. Which is nice. The sheet metal exterior tend to leak. And this is completely fiberglass. All the way around. With a rubber roof. Which is nice. Like I said, always always plugged in with with the heater on. I keep it actually about 55 degrees in there at all times, which is a bit much, but I don't like any mildew or anything to build in there. So then we got battery compartment and extra storage and refrigerator. And I have a deep cell um, top of the line battery. Let's grab the key. Cheapy battery. It's a dry cell battery. Um, it's a three hundred dollar battery, guaranteed not to fail. That's a good looking camper. And it's a two two thousand. Fleetwood Angler with fiberglass option on the outside. Does have manual jacks. Excellent shape. It's a good look. And that's it. Can take a peek in there. It's pretty nice. Everything works great. And that's it.